Uh, this carpet is hideous. That's, that's pretty much a fact. Remember that? Uh, I showed you the kind of a initial view of the van again that I purchased. Yeah, and this carpet definitely has got to go. So I ordered some new carpet. Let's go over to Go Westy. That's where I purchased it. Uh, they have actually quite a color selection. This actually comes from So Fine. If you go to So Fine, as in sewing, uh, you can also buy direct from them. But Go Westy actually shipped this out like right away. So I think they do carry some of the more popular um, colors in stock. I chose the, uh, or we chose the charcoal color. And uh, even though, like I said, it's one to, one to um, two weeks for delivery, it actually showed up the same week. I think I bought it earlier in the week and it arrived by the end of the week. Uh, so that was a really nice uh, bonus. And that included the padding. I mean, it's a separate item, but along with that. So what I'm gonna show you in this uh, install video is what I went through. Although it can be intimidating, it actually uh, is, um, is very doable. Here's the sound dampening material that I purchased, also from Go Westy. It does come with a kit. The razor blade helps and the uh, little roller thing also helps in some areas just to make sure that it's um, completely applied into some of the little grooves. So that's kind of a bonus. So I did not film the demo, but removing the front seats is super simple and also removing the carpet is actually quite easy. It does take about, I think a total of maybe 45 minutes to get it all out of there and then I cleaned it up another 15 minutes so not too bad. All right and on the Go Westy site they mentioned that you don't need to blanket every square inch uh, with rattle trap you just need to GoPro, do stop the main recording. areas. Um, so I, I kind of follow that guideline I did the entire base though um, and then up on the footwell areas things like that so I did cover most of the key areas. Now I want to get into the quality of the carpet. I did find it um, thinner than what I thought it would be. I don't know how it's going to hold up. You know, once I had it fully installed and had all the glue on, it felt really strong and really good quality. So it, I'll tell you this, it is easy to install because in a way it is thinner, right? So you're not doing a lot of uh, complicated cuts because of thickness of carpet. Uh, so again, we'll see how it all plays out. But um, overall, you'll see the end result. I'm, I'm happy with it, very happy. And the price is actually uh, super decent as well. Working with the sound dampening material was actually fairly easy. Just had to be, like with all things, when you care to do it in a quality way, you, it just kind of takes longer, right? So um, putting that in there, I was able to do this all myself. Just work on the cuts um, before you do the peeling, obviously, get that going and then apply it. Again, this doesn't have to be an exact science because the carpet and the, actually the padding also covers all of this. So you'll see that for the wrong. Then once you lay the piece in there, you can use the rolling tool uh, where I apply pressure and then also use my hands as well, kind of follow it into the grooves, make sure everything was well seated. Okay, then let's talk about the padding. So the one thing I noticed is the cut. I was a little disappointed here. It seemed like they're trying to make this particular pad fit different ears. I don't know, but I found these kind of two gap areas, which were a little weird. So I was able to actually um, leverage some of the other pieces and fill them in just to make sure. It, I'm not sure if you need to do that per se, but I, I just thought you'd feel a gap otherwise, right? So let's see what I did online. So on the driver's side, there's an extra piece right here. It just, again, didn't make sense to me. So I ended up cutting that straight, removing it, and applying it to the gap that's on the passenger side up at the footwell. And then underneath, I wanna show you those red cables. What you're seeing is our Vanagon comes with an auxiliary battery, a house battery in the back. And that's what these uh, cables are about. They don't get in the way, the padding protects them quite well. And here's another angle looking from the back. Uh, at both of the seats, the passenger and driver's side, with the rattle trap in the middle, kind of giving you a view of how the carpet would look. Okay, you can see the original carpet there. There's like a little piece left. I end up cutting that with a razor blade, removing it that way, but I really did not want to go through the effort of removing the entire cabinet there to tuck in the other uh, carpet. You'll see it ends up looking really good in my opinion, so you can't even tell that the old carpet is like neatly tucked and will always be there for historical purposes. Now on the back side of the carpet, which I also did not film unfortunately, has little white chalk marks so you can see how to cut things out, but I 
wanted to trust a template, so I created this like a little cardboard thing and uh, compared it with how I needed to cut it. And to me, that just gave me that comfort level. Do as you do, but uh, that's what I ended up doing. Okay, let's just jump straight to the end so you can see it. This is the charcoal color. I found it a little bit more blue than, than gray, but it's fine. I like the diffuse color, so not every little speck of dirt or debris will show up. Um, here you can see this is another piece I had to cut. Um, so at times it's a little nerve wracking because you think, oh, this thing is fully, you know, mapped out and everything. It is for the bigger pieces. They do fit nicely, but you do like right here where you do the little release bar right there. Um, that release bar to spin your chair around, you, you have to cut that. So you have to make sure you know where you're cutting. So a little care is taken. Don't just go crazy. Um, but overall, I'm very happy with the end result. And um, you can see the uh, shifter knob there, how the uh, carpet um, is completely covering all the way up. That part was nice. There you can see the, uh, the result with the shift knob. Okay, there's the center console piece. And with all the carpet, it kind of in that back area kind of bubbles up like there, you can see. But um, it, for the most part, is laid down, I think, nicely. All right, and heading over to the passenger side, I'll remove the floor mat here. Get a sense of how it looked from this angle. Again, I'm very happy with uh, the way this works. I have brand new carpeting. Some of the wrinkles in there did settle. Uh, some of them I went back and kind of just was able to work the, the wrinkle out. There's a little bit of a bump there on that where the battery is, the, um, the primary battery for the engine. Also, um, putting the uh, seat buckles there with those bolts, you have to um, feel around for that as well. But let me know your thoughts. Uh, let me know your thoughts on the color. I do find a little bit more blue than gray. Oh, here I thought it worked out really well. I got this tucked into the hardwood. And then there's what I was talking about, where you don't see the old carpet behind the uh, furniture piece. All right, that's a wrap. I uh, hope this uh, helps motivate you to get your carpet and your van again squared away or whatever your vehicle happens to be. Uh, that's all I have for now. And you guys have a great week. Thank you so much.